Hello and welcome to uh, another video in the new series, the translation uh, playlist. So this one is going from English into French, okay? So I don't know, some people prefer it going from French into English because they can kind of half guess what's there. Other people think, well actually no, it could be anything in French, whereas if it's going from English into French I could find a way around the problem. If I didn't know the main word I'd, I'd use other words. So anyway, so I found a nice little bit of English translation. Like all of this series of videos, it will be underneath in the transcription, okay? So please do click and open that when you're listening to this. You don't need to look at my ugly face, you can just listen to, um, you can just read the English that's down there and then we will work out the French. So I've started with something that's quite useful Okay, which is just a series of sentences that are grammatically pitched um, at kind of a middle, lower, lower middle level, but it's all good grammar. So, notice as well with translation there will often be different options, okay, and this is really key. Um, whatever level you're at, you will start to notice there are different options, and how you choose to translate that could either be artistic or on the context, or just the fact there's different words, it doesn't matter, relax. As long as people understand you and it's correct vocab or grammatically, it's fine. So, the first one. If you look, there are ten, okay? So, I have breakfast whilst watching television. Now, divide this up, otherwise they always become too much. So, I have breakfast. So, which tense are we in? Okay? Present. Which verb do we use for have breakfast? Do we say avoir le petit déjeuner? J'ai le petit déjeuner? Je prends mon petit déjeuner. I take my breakfast. Je prends le petit déjeuner. I take the breakfast. All of which are fine, okay? I generally like je prends for meals. Yeah, je prends. And if you're saying you're doing it, we don't need to double up and say I take my breakfast because if you're taking it, we know who's taking it. So je prends le petit déjeuner. Now, whilst. Whilst is a great word. Okay, we can have lorsque, which we've talked about before, or we can have two separate words, pendant que. So what was the sentence? I had breakfast whilst watching television. Okay, uh, so je prends le petit déjeuner lorsque je regarde, present tense, uh, la télévision, now, or la télé. The thing, okay? It used to be la télévision was the medium and le télé was short for téléviseur, which was the box, the device, but now people just tend to say la télévision. So notice we could have that or we could say je prends le petit déjeuner watching television, yeah? En regardant, yeah? En regardant. Um, yeah, there's other ways of doing it. Good. He broke his leg whilst trying to avoid the ball. So, he broke his leg is very specific French. Now, I think I've talked about this before in the reflexive videos. Here's the first clue. When you talk about body parts in French, as a general rule, you try and talk about them with the the word. So, for example, close your eyes and be ferme les yeux. You don't, you don't have to say ferme tes yeux. So he broke his leg, what tells us it's him is we say he himself broke the leg. So it's going to be reflexive, so we need a nice reflexive past. Um, what have I done with the board rubber again? Um, one second, yes here we are. So he broke his leg, Was going to be... Il say. Because up to that point, we are in our poetry past, aren't we? We know that much. Il sait, if you don't understand what the poetry past method is, please go and look back through my videos. It's a system to use reflexive verbs in the action past. So, il sait cassé. So, he broke himself. And then we have the leg. La jambe. So, for that matter, if it was he broke his arm, or she broke her arm, elle sait, il sait, on sait. Je me suis tuté, vous vous êtes cassé le bras. Yeah, whatever's going on, whatever you're breaking. Okay, it tends to be arms and legs, doesn't it? Okay, I broke my foot. I broke a bone in my foot. 
Um, good. So, il s'est cassé la jambe. What was the next bit in English? And French examiners love to give you that one because it's showing reflexive and, um, and the fact that body parts use the. Okay? So, uh, he broke his leg whilst trying to avoid the ball. Now, this whilst again. So, we've got lorsque il évitait, he was trying. Because it wasn't he tried, it's whilst he was trying. This is an ongoing, feel the was. So he broke his leg was the action, whilst he was trying. So lorsqu'il habitait, so uh, da, 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 il, um, what shall I, how much shall I write out of this? Um, one second. Uh, what's the whole sentence? Uh, yeah, okay. Lorsqu'il habitait, he was avoiding. So, lorsqu'il, or pendant qu'il, we've got the QUI apostrophe, yeah. So, lorsqu'il évitait, d'éviter, uh, um, no, hang on, lorsqu'il évitait, uh, the ball. Now, ball, if it's a small ball, would be la balle, B A W L E, or if it's a, mask, a bigger ball, like a football, le ballon. Okay, so kind of like soccer, um, British football. American football would kind of be le ballon, tennis ball, cricket ball would be la balle. Okay, so lorsqu'il habitait, whatever, le ballon, la balle. Or, again, we could go with, um, what was the sentence? He, he broke his leg whilst trying to avoid the ball. Okay, I missed out the trying bit. So, lorsqu'il, so I'm sorry. So, whilst he, so that's whilst he was avoiding, whilst he was trying to avoid, Et lorsqu'il essayait de éviter, essayer d'éviter, because as you know, essayer always has a de. I'm trying to speak, j'essaie de parler. So, il s'est cassé la jambe lorsqu'il essayait d'éviter le ballon, okay? Or, in trying, this method that gets us out of the whilst, so in trying, remember, ing is en and then an a and t, so it's basically the new form of the verb, so nous essayons, Swap the O and S for an A-N-T. So, on essayant, d'éviter, the same as before. So, il s'est cassé la jambe en essayant, in trying, d'éviter la... le ballon. Don't get over-dependent on this ing form. Because if you, for example, say, I am speaking, you're not going to say, je suis parlant, are you? Okay, so it's really when you're just doing an in speaking, in trying, this kind of form, okay? Good, let's do another one. Uh, knowing that she eats badly, she's going to follow a healthier diet. Okay, uh, good. So I chose these because of this ing theme, okay? Knowing is one of the rare ones, that's what's great. So most of the ing words will be um, the verb where we normally have O and S swapped for A-N-T. So for example, dancing, we dance, nous dansons, O and S, nous, um, en dansant, D-A-N-S, A-N-T. So we swap O and S for A-N-T. But there are a couple that are different. So for example, having will be ayant, having. Uh, being is a good one that changes, it's étant. In some older French literary passages you hear soyons, but I wouldn't worry about that. Ayant and sachant, okay, which is similar to the subjunctive sash for no. Okay, so knowing that he was late. So again, if you don't yet feel comfortable do this, you could say, you know, he knew, because he knew he was late, parce qu'il savait, he was knowing, qu'il était en retard, that would be fine. But sachant qu'il était en retard, knowing he was late, notice a little bit less formally we drop the en. Okay? So this one is knowing that she eats badly, sachant qu'elle mange mal. She eats badly, mal. What's that adverb for badly? Mal, not mauvais. So how would you say I spoke? J'ai parlé. How would you say I spoke badly? J'ai mal parlé. Remember that we always put the adverb after the first, um, the first, the first verb. So sachant qu'elle mange mal, what was the thing? Um, she's going to follow a healthier diet. Okay, so she's going to follow. Elle va suivre un régime plus sain. Now the word for régime is like regimen. 
régime. Notice it's got an accent on it because it's uh, e. Notice it's also masculine. Un régime. Because most words that end with an M and E are masculine. Le problème, yeah? le système, le thème. Yeah? Somebody once told me they come from Greek. Uh, but the fact is it's le régime. Healthy is sain, which is the same as um, if you think of santé. Yeah? Malsain is unhealthy. M-A-L-S-A-I-N. Now, if you didn't know she's going to follow a healthier diet regime, you could say she's eating better. Quel... What, what's the sentence? Mange mieux. Okay? Elle va essayer de, 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 de mieux manger. Hang on. Where are we going? Uh, what was our sentence? I've forgotten the original. Um, she's going to follow a healthier diet. So she's going to eat. Yeah? Same thing. Elle va manger. Elle va suivre. Okay? Having a lot of problems. Um, uh, um, oh, so she, she does not want to gain... Weight in eating an unhealthy diet. Okay? She does not want to gain weight. Elle ne veut pas. No, we can't just say gain weight. We're going to say gain some weight. So elle ne veut pas gagner du poids. Gain some weight. Okay? Like I said, you can't say the weight because that would be she doesn't want to gain the weight she lost. That would be specific. But we can't just say gain weight. I keep saying this in French, you cannot just have a noun. You can't just say journalists are horrible. You would have to say les journalistes sont horribles. How do you say I like chocolate in French? J'aime le chocolat. You always have the the. Okay? I like art. J'aime l'art. Okay? You always have the the. Okay? So she doesn't want to gain weight. Elle ne veut pas gagner du poids. Lovely. And again, um, uh, Eating uh, a healthy diet. Um, so we could have en mangeant um, uh, un régime malsain or um, en mangeant mal and eating badly. Okay? Um, having a lot of problems, we are trying to live better. Okay? Having ayant. Yeah, having, ayant, beaucoup de problèmes, okay? Uh, what could we say? We are trying to live better. Nous essayons, okay? Uh, I've forgotten where, what was the thing? Um, nous essayons uh, de vivre mieux. So to live would be live as in be alive, vivre. Better would be mieux. Now I've taught you better and best, for those of you who watch the, the, ch the channel. Better is two beats in English, will therefore be one in French, mieux. Best in English is one beat, and in two is that French is therefore two, meilleur. So generally it works like that. So to live better, better means I need one sound in French, vivre mieux. Vivre is to be alive, like vive le roi, yeah? Or vive la résistance kind of thing, okay? Uh, lovely. Wanting to win... Uh, they train every day. And then there's the name of the tournament. Okay? Um, this is written out really badly in English. The, the text I'm going to copy, I might have to alter. <laughs> okay. Wanting to win the tournament. Um, uh, lovely. So if we had the verb want to want. So again, because they want to win, parce qu'ils veulent gagner. You remember they want? Veulent. You could do that, you know, if you're saying, oh, wanting to win the tournament, they, they've trained really hard. If you were speaking, you could say, because they want to win, parce qu'ils veulent, that's fine. But because we're concentrating on this ing thing with this exercise, so what's the verb to want? Vouloir. So what's we want? Nous voulons. So therefore, nous voulons, B-O-U-L-O-N-S. What would be wanting? Voulons, A-N-T. So wanting to win, voulons, voulons um, uh, gagner... Le tournoi, the word for tournament. Um, what was it? What did it say? They're training every day. So, this is another thing about reflexive. Could you train me? I'm training you in French. You could train me in gymnastics or ballet or anything, you know. So, if you're training and you don't mention anybody else, this will be reflexive in French. You train yourself. 
So the verb to mentally train is former, like j'ai fait une formation, I did a, a training in whatever software, logiciel. I 